You know, it's funny seeing all these people talk about the alleged food shortage that Biden warned America about. This is something that we've always been talking about, man. We warned you for years. We've been warning you on our prepper channels. Even on this channel, I've been warning you of the coming food shortages. We talked about FEMA camps. We talked about Walmart, you know, and the food shortages. But now it seems to be a hot topic now that Biden had announced it. This is a food shortage by design. And it's designed to target certain people. This food shortage is not going to affect everyone. It's going to affect the people that were affected by this pandemic that we are coming out of. The same people that depended upon the government to supply them with a stimulus package. The same people that's being evicted out of their apartments. The same people that's on waiting lists, waiting for apartments. The same people that cannot afford to pay their rent or feed their children. The same people that, re that receive the child tax credits. Those are the ones that is designed to affect. Now think about it. Just take time out to think for a moment. If this was not by design, why is it that Biden has opened the borders to illegal immigrants? These illegal immigrants and this 100,000 uh, Ukrainians that Biden had received in this country, they will be fed. It won't affect them. Isn't it funny how Biden is predicting a food shortage here in America, but yet is still sending out billions and millions of dollars to other countries, to Ukraine, to fund that war? While Americans are predicted to starve. Americans are predicted, they're predicted a food shortage. But yet Biden opened the doors to 100,000 Ukrainians. The borders are wide open and immigrants are flooding this country. They are provided for. They will be provided for. But the, the American taxpayer is going to suffer. This is all by design. It's all a part of the so-called population reduction. I find that to be quite interesting. But we talked about this. We talked about this on our prepper channels. For years, we've been talking about this. And the only thing you guys said was we were conspiracy theories because you could not see it. Everybody is content with having their face planted in their cell phone and they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. Another thing to take note, I find it quite strange that all of these things are occurring in this country. See, this is no more than, how can I word this? What we see happening now is not really happening. Yes, they're predicting food shortage, but the reason why gas prices are up food prices are up. The reason why we're dealing with inflation is because of high gas prices. And you have all the transports, the transportation that's used 
to deliver these products to trucking companies, they have to pay thousands of dollars to fill that truck for fuel. See, people are being laid off. People are quitting their jobs. See, I read an article last week. There was a gas station that was charging less than everyone else. And I'm going to find that article and I will be speaking about this in another video. But you had other gas companies that were going to, that filed lawsuits against them because they were charging too low. How is it that they're able to charge low and the other gas stations aren't? And the one that's charging low, they want to file lawsuits against because you're selling gas too low. This is all by design. And you notice none of these politicians in the media, no one's really panicking. Yes, because they are millionaires and billionaires, they could afford it. But they're not really panicking because they know it's all a farce. It's not real. It's an illusion. It's an illusion that's by design. Yes, the shelves in many uh, supermarkets are empty. Yes, we see empty shelves. We're paying high gas prices. We're paying high inflation prices. But it's not because of the fact that there's a shortage. America, like I mentioned in my past video, is being sanctioned by Biden. The same person that you voted into office and he told you, Nancy Pelosi told you that they were going to retaliate for those of you Democrats that supported Trump. Those of you Democrats that supported Republican this is your punishment. And so now they're punishing you. They're punishing the American people because Trump was in office and Trump was destroying their agenda by doing the right thing. And so now you have to suffer for that. This is all by design. This whole pandemic, we're coming out of a pandemic and you would think they would become, they would be more compassionate by the fact that you lost loved ones and friends and family members. You've been sick. You coming out of a pandemic and now they're going to hit you with not only an inflation and high gas prices, but they're still piling it on by bringing immigrants to this country and then going to tell you there's going to be a food shortage. So now people are going to start stockpiling, you know, grabbing more than what they really need or more than what they really want. Spending money. That's what they want you to do. And all of you are falling right into that trap, right into that snare. So this is all by design. This is a food shortage by design. We warned you about this years ago on our prepper channels. And why do you think they are attacking the Second Amendment? If they were so concerned about saving lives, if they were so concerned about that, they would not have released those criminals from prison but they want to confiscate your firearms so that you won't have a way to defend yourself. What they really want to do, they can't do right now because America is armed. America can fight back. So they have to strip you first. They have to destroy the constitution. And the way that they're doing it is they're deceiving you making you thinking making you think that they're trying to stop violence and make the streets safer but at the same time they're releasing criminals into your neighborhood 
They're defunding the police. You have cops that's retiring. Cops have lost their jobs. And a lot of the cops that's coming in now are children that are inexperienced, that are pushovers. So this is all by design. See, so now a lot of y'all are scared, but I'm going to tell you who it's going to affect the most. It's going to affect those that depend upon the government. You depend upon the system. Those of you that have problems and struggle through the pandemic. Those of you that are not working. Those of you that depend upon these stimulus checks that's being evicted out of your apartments and that's on waiting lists. These immigrants that's coming here, oh, they got a place to stay already. They already got them a place to stay. But your, you taxpayer is on a waiting list. You got to wait. You have to remain homeless. And the immigrants are treated better than taxpaying Americans. Interesting, huh? So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, click on the chime, the Venmo, the link is on the bottom. Support this channel till next time. I'm fearless.